session namaste everyone thanks to my guru ji brahma shri pitama patri ji and to all the masters who are here and the master who will listen to this session later welcome to session 41 wow what a beautiful day again what a great energy we have so when it comes to karma session you see my energy grows like anything wow i am fully excited fully energetic let's rock the session today so how was the week last week did you all work with your weaknesses honestly week 3 was very smooth for me like a cake walk what was our goal be truthful and when i saw in the past one week i am always truthful i have what i am inside and outside so it was a very easy cake walk for me i was checking myself every moment am i different am i cheating someone am i hiding am i not truthful absolutely no i am the person who looks outside and inside the same so i really loved it so it gave me another confirmation that i am truthful and you know few people messaged me sir i lied <laughs> uh, it is very difficult uh, somehow we managed or this i said don't worry about all this see every week we focus on a certain area that's all our focus area last week was truthful if you remembered at least once reminded yourself once enough how much you withstand how many situations came is all it's okay again no guilty that was one of one of the weeks goal no no guilty oh i was not truthful no no guilty it it shows how much we are where we are and the moment you become aware that is the beauty of our soul consciousness you must be aware that's all mind says no, okay you should realize then then take step 1 2 3 a b c no that is all nonsense in spirituality if you are aware that's enough the moment you are aware the correction will automatically happen so last week goal was beautiful so forget about three weeks goals now okay it doesn't mean i'm not uh, encouraging anybody to not to be truthful <laughs> i'm saying remove it from the mind because we have a fresh week okay like every week fresh vegetables fresh fruits okay we have a fresh week ahead and this week people are going to hit me because what a beautiful goal i am going to give i am going to follow you know what is the new goal okay let me post it in the chat ha 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 no procrastination gone <laughs> doomed is so beautiful right in procrastinating thing mean postponement uh, next week tomorrow later after one hour alarm comes and then you say mm, one more hour we will sleep no procrastination it means you plan your day stick to it don't be just like that no procrastination okay what no procrastination how are you going to calculate how are you going to measure plan stick to it that's all no need to shell tell me or anybody you be truthful to you you plan don't over plan again don't write 25 30 like a vegetable list don't write too many write three finish it if you finish very early in the day write one or two more stick to it no procrastination procrastination kills you kills whom your mind what are we doing here we are managing our mind by managing things that we planned don't procrastinate don't no postponement absolutely no try it no you will get maza you will really love it i am going to try it with all of you okay don't think i am a master i am mastery in, i have mastery in everything <laughs> i am also becoming a master one more step if we can go ahead maybe in next one week i'll become a better planner i'll be able to execute little more better little more better that's enough the last one week i was looking whether i have any weakness in my truthfulness absolutely no it gave me a confirmation that gives me a confidence acha me okay this is what i am wow a lot of people messaged me called me 
saying very difficult sir it's okay it's okay ठीक है again one more round will come we will think about that later but now if you are aware i am happy if you are aware you are happy that's all so no procrastination no postponement absolutely no before you plan think 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 but once you plan write it down in the paper you are going to do it whatever the time whatever the situation are bhai 24 hours hai ek din mein 24 hours don't give excuses no procrastination means one more statement to easily understand no excuse no excuses absolutely stick to it plan stick to it okay so i remember one funny girl when i said you need to plan your day she said okay 6 o'clock i'm waking up 6:10 i'm brushing are yaar oh nahi plan nahi hai those are not plan they are duties anyway you will do don't write all the silly things you know, small small things anyway you are going to do planning is a work a definable work that's all no procrastination this week let's see how many of you are going to rock it okay so last one week what are my learnings any background noises can you anybody confirm no background noises no everything is good okay okay so last one week this is one one thing i have learned i am truthful to me it's okay no it means some background noise is coming okay no okay we will correct it okay one more thing is pyramid energy okay you can see one more pyramid i have installed on my bed wow wow you know it took almost 45 minutes to install i somehow felt intuition you guys know right if i get any intuition i won't talk i want to install so i took 45 minutes slowly hammering in the moment i installed i felt a very deep silence that depth of silence is equal to you are going and sitting in the bed of the ocean very deep ocean if you go to the bed of the ocean and sit can you imagine such a silence i observed the moment i installed and i went into trance very deep trance then i saw a 200 feet pyramid this uh, this pyramid energies were around 200 feet a lot of energy was showering that was another experience i felt day before yesterday and one more my learning is last week was little challenge sometimes there won't be anybody around you but your works will never stop with anybody no work is related to a person if you are into service in spirituality remember if you are running a project that project will never depend on people suppose x is there and he x doesn't come the work will never stop somebody will come in the place of x the project will go on if it is a spiritual service if it is a spiritual work the works will never stop somebody will come work will keep on happening i got a beautiful example last week okay and one more thing i was driving bike so i just got a message okay i think i need to make my background noise little less just excuse me for one minute kunu pu panda was going there on the tv <laughs> so i just asked them to reduce a little sound my kid is watching okay now where were we okay i got a message how to manage the mind better how to manage the mind better so what message i got is sometimes you know consciously unconsciously people will always have a guilty feeling that uh, I am not practicing music. 
I could have completed that work. I missed my cooking. I thought of writing a book. I didn't write. Something or the other will always keep poking you. Okay, end of the session, I'll give you some tips what to do. But the message I got is, if something is bothering you that I didn't do this, at least do it for five, 10 minutes. There are a few days, people say, no, I missed my meditation. And uh, everybody will be there in that. <laughs> no exception. Everybody will be in that list. I missed my meditation today. I missed reading books. I didn't share my experiences. Somewhere, somebody will have that problem. So, but before you go to the bed, five minutes meditate and go to bed. So, you are not going to give a reason, I didn't meditate. I meditated. Thoda time, little time I meditated. So, what happens? Mind will be in samadhan, in shant. It won't poke you, it won't point you saying you didn't meditate. No, I meditated. Today I was busy, today I have no mood or today I was occupied. At least five minutes I meditated. So, I am practicing music. When suddenly one week I did not touch. The mind was telling me, hey, musical instrument, you are not playing. So, what I did, I opened it. Ten minutes I played, I, I closed it. Then I saw, now what is happening inside my mind? We are all scientists. We do experiment. We sit back and we observe what is exactly happening. So my mind clearly it is satisfied now because 10 minutes I did. 10 minutes I practiced. I am satisfied. Mind is also satisfied. If you don't do that, it keeps on poking you. You didn't do, you didn't do, you, you missed it, you missed it. So that is one a uh, trick I can say, do for at least five or 10 minutes, anything that is killing you. If you're writing a book, I don't know how many people wrote books here. Even I never tried to write a book, but I read people start writing diaries, books, half the journey will be great, but crossing that middle journey, it is very difficult. You need a lot of discipline. You need a lot of push from inside to complete writing a book. So there, what do you need? I, I didn't write anything. Write one line today, that's enough. At least you'll be happy. Okay, I wrote something. So some work may totally occupy your day. Some work. That may be a learning or teaching or business or examination, whatever it is, <clears throat> let it occupy. But the final half an hour or 20 minutes before your sleep, whatever is bothering you, punch, 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 one minute, complete it. Sometimes you want to talk to someone, but you don't have time. You know, I, I mostly don't talk with certain people very often because if I call them, if I call them, the call will go for minimum one hour. They are my gurus. I cannot just say hi, bye and put down the phone because the discussions will go for at least one hour. So I always wait, wait, because if I call, the call will go for one hour. Do I have huge amount of time? So you need to know your personality. You need to know how your mind works. So why am I bothering about all my mind? Because this mind, when I sleep, it is going to affect me. When I sit in meditation, it's going to affect me. When I am awake, if I take care of my mind, my meditation will be best. My sleep would be awesome. And if I do any work, my mind will not interfere. It will cooperate. So it's a pakka mind management you need to do. And you need to understand your personality. Don't copy anyone. We are not all same. We all have our own styles, different styles. We work at our own speed. <clears throat> I'm a multitasker guy. I, I can have 100 tasks in a day, switch between one, two very quickly, immediately, and I can complete all in a day. But there are people, they will take one, they will aram say do it, complete only then think about the second. So you must know what is your nature. 
you must know what is your, the speed at which you can operate then fit yourself into such otherwise there is unnecessary pressure inside you so if something is bothering you just fight and minutes try to do it your mind will be released released of that one guilt or tension try it no i tried it worked for me and one more concept i understood okay uh, in in general no like uh, i have seen many people many, many masters in psm so i got a concept i was telling there are five circles i can see the first circle of master they always stay with the guru with patri ji okay take care of him his food his travel everything they are the first circle of people i see do i belong there no i i don't belong to the first circle what is second circle of people they are in regular touch with him regular touch almost every day two days once they call update about some product projects am i in the second circle no one more the, the third circle is people like me who carry the mission spreading pyramids and meditation throughout the world vegetarianism towards the world i belong to that circle so i don't need to time and again go and sit in front of him because he will look at me why are you here <laughs> what are you doing why are you wasting your time go update get out so i am in a mission i told you my vision is 2031 and after 2031 <laughs> no no one will sit to sit and listen to meditation because everybody will know 10 years yeah 10 years that is my vision and that is my mission so i don't need to go and hang around anybody so i belong to this circle i know why i am born i know what i should do having full clarity one more thing one one more question to all of you do you have clarity why you are born do you have clarity in everything you do i have i know why i am born i know everything i do why i am doing if you don't know no problem question yourself you will get it if you live with clarity you know the energy flows if you live with confusion <laughs> the energy drains if somebody comes to meet you and ask me why are you here that's it like i don't know why i am here why ask one question if somebody comes to you ask you just ask them what is your purpose of life either they will baffle or they will be afraid what is your purpose of life clarity again the clarity is very important i always try for clarity why somebody told me you know the few ladies who came to office two days ago uh, that uh, madam was telling sir every week you come online karma session 40th session is over I'm like wow people see nice but clarity do you have full clarity on what is karma after listening to 40 sessions listening is fine understanding is fine when in life when you get the real situation are you applying if not this session is absolutely waste if you are interfering someone's life you did not understand karma if you are poking your nose into others personal affairs you did not understand karma if you are still going and eating egg telling egg is in cake no egg it's okay then you don't understand karma if you are cooking non vegetarian you did not understand karma if you are eating then it's out of question it's not how much we listen how many sessions we attend it's how much you put it into practical that matters a lot okay with that our goal for next week what is that no procrastination no procrastination no postponement no excuses no excuse don't find excuse find a reason to do 
Don't find a reason to run. <laughs> find a reason, no? Find a reason to attend this session. Find a reason to meditate. Find a reason to do, not to escape. So we're escaping. Like, you know, my friend called me. Okay, his health is totally deteriorated. Family life screwed up. All his goals gone. Their family is in very bad shape. He is not doing his duties. He called me and said, he is going to do one year course. After that, he is going to get job. I was like, already you are in a depth deep well where everything is very bad. And now he is going to sit, read for one year. And I have seen him for many, many years. He don't stand for anything even for one month. Again, the mind changes, the mind changes, the mind changes. So I was observing, I'm not criticizing him. I was observing what is exactly happening with him. You know, one beautiful word I got, he's hiding. Hello, I got the point. He's hiding from what? Life. <laughs> hiding away. Some, some reason he will show. I am doing this course after that one year. One year course? For one job? He already has so much of experience. He has done so many jobs. Immediately he can jump into but Lazy buggers. They don't want to perform their karma. They want to hide. My dear friends, if you are hiding from something, analyze, get out. Don't hide. In the name of something, you are hiding behind. That is the biggest postponement we do. One of my friend, he was working with me many years ago. I told him, hey, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, there is an IT course. I want you to go there, train all the freshers. Can you do? He said, can we go for a coffee? I said, I'm asking you a question. He said, no, no, just go for, let's go for a coffee, first drink. Now I was observing what is happening. He's afraid. And then within five minutes, he packed his bag. I said, where are you going? He said, I'll call you. I'm just leaving, left. And that whole day, he did not pick my call. <laughs> Why? He was hiding. You should have that dareness to say, hey, sorry, I can't do. Be open, no? Like, I can't do. It's okay. If you're unable to, or if you don't willing to, it's okay. Either you don't have the capacity or you don't have interest. Art of saying no. Somebody asked me yesterday, hey, there is a session in UK. Ravikiran messaged me on Sunday, 12 p.m. Again, 12 p.m. Is it afternoon or night? It's always a confusion, right? <laughs> 12 p.m. People say 12 noon, we are happy. <laughs> 12 in the midnight, we are happy. A.M. ka p.m. is always a confusion. Okay. Anyway, it's afternoon. So I said, uh, mm, the Sunday is difficult. He's asking, is every Sunday difficult? <laughs> I said, I will update that later. I'm not postponing. I don't like to give. That's all. Next Sunday, I don't know. But this Sunday, I'm not giving. That's okay, my dear friends. See, unwillingly, when you are there somewhere, only your body will be there. The mind will be somewhere. The astral body will be somewhere. Unwillingly, don't do anything. If there are situations where you have to do, then create, generate interest and do. Only then all your seven bodies will be in one place. Otherwise, it will be scattered. Understand? So no procrastination, no hiding. People are very good in hiding. One of my friend, four or five years, he was doing courses, courses, courses. Hey, kya course? What are you doing? Doing something in the home, home. Finally, you opened a shop. I was like, ah, wow. Finally, you started doing something. Your energy has to flow. You cannot always sit and cook. Sir, no. <laughs> Let somebody eat. You cannot always keep cooking. With that, see, I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm learning from people. When I see somebody is hiding, and I see, am I hiding from something? Am I hiding from any project? 
or am i procrastinating am i postponing something i check myself when i see something outside i don't criticize i don't name them i don't blame them i take it the pointers like a mirror like a mirror i do a self analysis like antivirus no people who know computer they understand antivirus check corona run a scan scanner and to see whether do i have that qualities do i have any area of improvisation if yes then focus so sometimes we don't know how to run the scanner that is why weekly goals no procrastination this week that antivirus is programmed what no postponement no procrastination enter चलो शुरू हो गया स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस मूवमेंट नो पोस्टमेंट वन वीक कीप फोकस यू विल नो योर सेल्फ बेटर डोंट एक्सपेक्ट समवन फ्रॉम हिमालय दे विल कम से हेरे बाबा यू हैव दिस वीकनेस दैट वी नो यू हैव टू हेल्प योर सेल्फ आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प माई सेल्फ आई हैव ऑलवेज हेल्प माई सेल्फ रन दिस कैन ब्यूटिफुल स्कैनर नेक्स्ट वन वीक आई एम गोइंग टू रन इट it is going to help me a lot so let us learn let us learn okay what did i press nothing okay from tarkom saradar and again this week my favorite what a beautiful master if anybody have read at least one tarkom book just put it in the chat yes no procrastination tough Hey, no tough, nothing tough. Hey, we didn't even start. Just two minutes ago, I said we are starting. No tough until we try. Nothing is tough. So plan three things, finish it. Hila ji, yeah. Reading joy and healing. Ruma ji, you read a Torkom book, yeah. Ah, karma, yes. Beautiful book, wonderful book. i would have read at least 8 to 10 books of talkum more more to read It's such a beautiful vast knowledge he has i don't know one of my goal in life is to buy all the talkum books and create a library and read 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 how much time we waste here yeah? facebook instagram stories status updates but on to two pages you read autobiography of a yogi or reading mystery of third eye No, no, no. I'm asking about Tarkam books. <laughs> you are not listening, Supriya Malika. Then what are you doing? I am not asking what book you are reading. I asked, are you reading or have you read Tarkam Sharadarian books? Where are you? Be here. Be aware. Okay. So he says, no effect, no cause. Hey, nothing is happening in my life. Yes, nothing will happen because there is no effect. I have tried something. Nothing is happening. No cause. I am trying something. Nothing is happening. No cause here. So there is no cause, no effect. Yeah, Tarkom has autobiography book. I have read this autobiography. Such a beautiful book. Very big book. Read everybody. Tarkom's autobiography. You will love it. it's available in kindle version amazon physical is physical i always tell you try to get it so what happens with karma is it will affect your physical body emotional body and mental body in other way physical body etheric body and astral body these three bodies if you understand it's enough causal body supra causal nirva leave it that's okay those are advanced but we every day day in day the more we live with the physical body etheric and astral that is the physical the emotional the mental so these three bodies gets highly affected because of your karma so if you don't understand karma if you don't understand your reactions or the effects of your cause you are spoiling your three bodies you are not reaping the best out of it remember so we live in a space space in between the laptop and me there is a lot of space inside our body 
in between two cells there is a lot of space in between two organs there are a lot of space <clears throat> but space when you see with your eyes it is vacuum but the fact is no space is vacuum what does it have electromagnetic forces emf and there is the energy field sir two hands there is nothing nothing is in between two hands right but do one thing no keep doing this just like this everybody just bring both the hands little close and then away slowly slowly can you feel energy magnet that is called electromagnetic force energy field i don't do very slowly yaar yeah. malikarjun you need to increase your speed i say nahi karo <laughs> little speed don't do very quickly okay you are not uh, throwing away the flies and mosquitoes there has to be equilibrium you will feel if you want to feel sir i am not feeling anything close your eyes yeah close your eyes yeah i can feel a magnetic force what does it say the space is not vacuum the space has what electrical impulse electromagnetic force i gave you the proof if somebody says i am not able to feel keep on doing until you experience i cannot do anything your senses are weak so what happens our actions affect the energy field our actions affect the energy field what actions physical actions your thoughts your emotions affects what energy field magnet has energy you bring a iron what happens immediately it will go try to get attached and there is a magnet you bring another equal opposite or not opposite equal magnet what happens you disturb the energy it will try to run away we know this everybody knows from the childhood we have been doing all these experiments but the energy around us is it not getting affected by your actions words and thoughts yes it do a lot last week i told you know when i go to a hotel where people stand there you no know, hundreds of people for food fighting their thoughts are highly affecting that place and that is affecting the food i never eat there taste may be excellent but what after eating that night i will have horrible dreams you should know what how the energy fields are around us when i go to the road when i go to the office the moment i come back home i feel very relaxed immediately all set how because the electromagnetic forces the energy field is very good here is it the same when i moved into this house no when i came to this house it was low but with our actions our thinking our speaking our emotions has increased the power and the energy you have to cleanse the space nobody is going to come and do for you you have to pray pyramid you have to meditate you have to play a lot of music and your thinking has to be pure inside one outside one how it is not called pure it's impure you are cheating yourself you are wasting you are not true then what happens those electromagnetic fields gets disturbed and what does it do it attracts so what is around you what is around us aura a u r a how many of you have seen your aura is it visible in a mirror no it can be only seen through third eye or there are certain masters who have developed seeing through the physical eyes there are few few masters they told me sir your aura is golden color it's like wow thank you they don't know i don't know whom they are they don't know who me who i am they gave me that feedback my aura is in golden color 
So I have to be always careful to maintain it. So once it is gold, it is not always gold. <laughs> your thinking, your actions. Okay, if it is going in some other direction, the color changes. Enlightenment. Okay, camera photo. That is a Kalyan photo. That is different. Seeing to the physical eyes. I have seen many people's aura. Okay, my music teacher, you know, when she was speaking, I suddenly saw green color. Then I understood she is an expert in that field. I said, I am a student. I immediately joined. So sometimes we see the aura. So what happens, the energy field around us changes. Whoever comes, you know, they meet me, they forget all the questions they have. <laughs> this is where I don't know why the moment they speak to you, all my questions are getting vanished because they come in my energy field. You understand? When you go into a certain energy field, you go under a pyramid, immediately your mind you know, vanishes of all the thoughts. I asked my wife, Anita, hey, what is your experience in the pyramid? She said, I want to think something, but the pyramid is not allowing me to think. <laughs> wow, what experience, no? She is unable to think. The pyramid is just vanishing, making her thought vanish. Experiment, 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 everything, small, tiny things. Be beautiful. One of my friends, she had cold, cough. She thought, okay, it is going to take four or five days to recover. She immediately thought, why I should not experiment with crystals? So she took a bowl, put 11 crystals, placed above the water and then a pyramid, start drinking after every one hour, two days recovered. And within one hour, she saw a lot of relief. You must experiment. What are you doing? So when time comes, when we have all the tools, we should experiment with our body. Then you will understand the real power. So our energy field highly affects who comes in and also it attracts equal, equivalent people. If you are always like angry for even small things you get irritated I challenge you every day you will meet such people who comes to irritate you who comes to disturb you who they will come because it is not their mistake you are calling them how do we call them with our electromagnetic waves we call we attract we are giving signals come come you are angry, then you are inviting all angry people, all angry situations. Because universe know only one thing. You ask and it will be given. There is a movie called Secret. Go and watch it. You ask, it will be given. Ah, okay, sir, I want one crore. Does not come, sir. It will take time to come. Don't expect. Instant. Instant coffee, it will take 10 minutes. Instantly you will not get. It will come. So what are we calling? Whom are we calling every day? I'll, I'll, at the end of the session, I'm going to uh, give you one exercise. So we live in a space. Yes, we all agree. Space has electromagnetic forces. Our actions affects energy fields. Yes. Okay, okay. I did some action. I troubled someone. It has affected the energy field. So what? Then what happens? Our actions create electrical charges in the space. Okay, let it create. So what? Our words and actions, it gets stored as electrical impulses. Okay, let it get stored. So how it is going to affect me? It will go to come back to the source after traveling. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. now I am aware. Oh my God. So my actions, words, stores in the space in the form of electrical impulses. It travels for some time and then it will find, hey, where is my source? This is the source. It will come back. 
worst thing is if there are so many impulses from others they also come it need not be only you the source of creating that in your anger you create something lot of people with their anger they create all those for all those things you are the source source is not a person your anger is the source and you will attract you gave one electrical impulse thousand impulses comes back who has due to attract are you not aware of your words deeds and actions thoughts you have to be otherwise you are going to be a victim nothing difficult you need to understand if you are understand aware oh, no this is going to come back to me no i am not going to do that is going to help you i do anything you want speak anything you want no it is going to come back my friends it is going to come back strongly it will find its source it will come back not only yours everything that is in the space will come to you don't think space is this room okay space doesn't have what time so the whole universe can be considered as a space i want third eye then all those opportunities will come to you i want abundance then you attract such electrical impulses i want health i want wealth and your aura should be pure i heard there is a great sage called vallalar in tamil nadu he is so pure is is even the physical body somebody can pass through somebody can physically pass through his physical body such a pure soul so are we like that question mark check 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 this week is going to be checking week your words your actions stores as electrical impulses they come back to the source after a few traveling so let it also travel no it will come back okay ram said will do journey and will come back when nobody knows and don't think karma again time and again and tell karma is not punishment it's a liberation it is going to help you you pay back so why what happens is if you are angry on someone or you are upset again if you want to be free from everything the one solution is don't have any expectations <laughs> don't have any expectation from ever anyone you will be always free free no bondage hey baba you you have expectation you will suffer to the core yeah newton third law applicable always applicable action and reaction it will come back so you will get some tension right if somebody is troubling you or you are angry you are upset you are you are in fear there will be some kind of tension inside you that tension is going to sit in your psychic unconsciousness not only in the physical body your psychic is going to affect your consciousness is also going to affect how do we release the tension for example you hate someone hatred reason can be anything i say no don't find reasons find reasons to get out don't find reasons to get in find reasons to meditate find reasons to liberate don't find reasons to go and get into trap hatred will create tension and okay let it create tension but it is also going to destroy one beautiful force inside you what is that force creative force why that if you have hatred on anybody you are seeing them as separate from you you are separating yourself from them 
then what happens that the oneness is gone that creativity is gone that creative force will die inside you then you won't be able to manifest Woo! your manifestation goes away why should i lose my manifestation power just for getting hatred on someone forgive forget very difficult sir okay keep it keep on adding fuel let the hatred grow your creative forces are going to die if you are not serious if you are serious then you will be very careful don't take everything personally you know that is a big problem if someone tells something that's it you will take very deep very personal oh i am taking a break i am healing myself don't take everything personally last week we saw right law of consciousness law of karma law of constant progression law of hastening the progression law of uncertainty did you remember this any time in the one week five fingers yeah five five laws always your fingers will help you in every situation one of this will help so you have to find reason to come out i'm trying it's not a law of uncertainty it's okay keep on trying okay someone told me i'm getting anger on you i made the law of consciousness you and me are same you are getting angry on you you should get out of the situation find reasons to get out don't find reasons to get into anything don't cling on to anything it is not going to help you yeah in session 39 you told in spirituality every action has a equal action i say for every action you do an action not reaction i remember what i said sukanta ji for every action there should be an action not reaction for example you scold me i'll be in mauna that is an action you scold me i scold you that is a reaction listen to the session once again <laughs> so your hatred is going to create tensions in you and it is going to destroy your creative forces it means you are destroying yourself you have a lot of hatred a lot of fear then you say my thought power not working sir i constantly want something it is not coming how will it come because your creative force is dead you are killing it by seeing others as different growing something inside you have virus inside you bacteria inside you how is going to help you anti virus kya hai everybody is same equal they are in their level of evolution you are in your level of evolution is there anything to learn one madam came to my office she told me sir there is a recent book called sita ena it is full of controversies from what the sita we know how do we take which one to take i said if you read a book if you understand something take if there is any controversy drop it if you don't understand anything drop it it means extract what you want leave the rest there is controversy but i don't care there are certain points i don't understand i don't care there are certain things i understood i will take it that is how you will progress to next book otherwise you will only stick with this book keep on discussing with everybody this point is wrong i don't agree with who asked you to agree disagree we don't read books to agree or disagree this is not law books these are spiritual books learn something see is it adding value to you go to a ice cream shop you want mango ice cream eat it and get out yaar yeah. you said that strawberry you know i don't like it who did you did anyone ask you your opinion who is listening to your opinions the world is full of opinions take what you want get out what to do when someone energy puts you off laugh someone energy puts you off you laugh at yourself <laughs> that their, their energy has put off me oh my god 
Nobody can disturb you without your permission. Gandhiji's words, you must remember. If if I get any trace of disturbance, I immediately burst into laughter. Hey, hey, I am allowing somebody to disturb me. Laugh, no? Why can't you laugh at your situation? Why can't you laugh at your problems? Why is so serious? No hatred, no hatred on anybody. You know, funnily, what happened? Four continuous days, there is one guy continuously coming in my dream, he's calling me. Every day. Four days. And fifth day, you know what I did? <laughs> I called him and said, Are Baba, four days continuously you are calling me, you are scolding me. I asked him, Do you hold anything on me? I don't know what he would have thought, but he nothing. He said, hey, no, nothing. I didn't have anything. And we spoke and then I kept the phone down. Then what happened? From that day, he did not come in my dream. So if anybody comes to my dream, I'm going to call you. <laughs> I asked him, hey, four days continue to coming and scolding me in my dream. Any, anything on me? Do you have hold anything? Share, no? Because I want to resolve. Either resolve or dissolve. Either solve it or resolve it or dissolve it. It should go away from your system. That's all. Review actions, feelings, thoughts. You must review. I review. Review is a word very much different from judging. What is judging? Mm, he is like that. He is judging. Fix. Mean, uh, judging means fix. He is not going to change. But review is observing. Checking. My actions I review. I will do something and then I think, Okay, I, in this situation, I did like this. I just be aware. And also my feelings. After every event, every moment, I check my actions, my thoughts, my feelings instantly. As if a third person is looking at you. There you will get a lot of improvement, my dear friends. See, somebody will come and say, Hey, I see these actions continuously. No lift call. What are you doing, sir? What do you want, Malikarjun? In the mid of session, you are disturbing me. What do you want? Review your action, feelings, and thoughts every day. If you are not going to review, somebody is going to give you a review. Somebody is going to come and say, hey, your thoughts are not good. Your actions are not good. Your feelings are not good. Why you are allowing others to come and correct you? I always review and I am always very clear what I am doing, what I should not do. There are two things which adds a lot to your karma. Criticism and nosiness. Make a note. Criticism and nosiness. What is criticism? Continuously finding faults of others is criticism. You criticize others. Hey, you are doing this, you are not doing that, you are doing that, this. Why? The hidden agenda there is you have a lot of hatred, you have a lot of jealousy, you criticize them. So if you continuously going to criticize others, you are going to get a lot of karma. Nosiness. What is nosiness? Poking your nose into other personal affairs. Poking your nose, nosiness. 
what they are doing and collecting all the information about them and to strike it strike them badly at the time this will add a lot of karma to you nosiness and criticism don't do that because your karma balance will become negative it is not going to help at the time when you want to reap if you have lot of good karma you are when the bad karma you are about to meet an accident this good karma will save you so who is your savior yesterday my bike was about to skid i was about to fall but i didn't had fear miraculously the bike got balanced itself i was driving very slowly maximum the bike would have fall but miraculously nothing happened what is that who saved me my good karma saved me nobody from the heavens your good karma will save you at the time it will pay when the time comes and you have to be in service continuously then you accumulate lot of good karma and you have to be in teaching because teaching is evergreen only when you teach what you know you empty your cup you give lot of scope to fulfill it is the path for sacrificial service i i love teachings because i'm born for it i teach because only when you teach you will know where you are what you are and then you progress if you don't teach what happens you think you know everything but when situation comes you will be knocked out i always continuously you now someone asked me sir only 40 50 people attending your session i said i am not doing sessions for others i am doing sessions for me every week it's a revision for me what is karma i come here to share what did i learn in the last week it's a review for me am i truthful am i being truthful to me am i disturbing anyone am i poking my nose do i have any hidden intentions behind anything am i accumulating karma or am i helping myself i it is a self check for me i always have a great self check that is where my improvement comes so if you want to improvise you have to review yourself you know what every cricketer does after the match they go and they see themselves in the television how they faced every ball or how did they bowl every ball how did they bat they review themselves and then they find what their area of improvement then they improvise so next match they will be better but here i am not asking you to record yourself 24 hours with a camera so whenever you get time situations you review yourself how did i behave what was my thought what was my feelings the moment you are aware your spiritual energy will automatically start working on it remember this i am a great umpire of my life third umpire i am i review myself i don't go and judge others he is good he is bad he is no no and i will not allow others to disturb me if somebody disturb me i'll give it britain bat very clear cut shot don't even try to attempt because i i don't get disturbed if you lot of people have hidden agenda why they want they why they come no they will have hidden agenda i know why they are here what was their intentions but i leave to their karma and you cannot disturb me nobody can disturb me because i don't permit that's, that's what i learned from gandhi ji that's all i have for this week beautiful learnings review review that is the one take away i can take it from this session no procrastination let's target it for this week 
don't postpone anything okay so now i will leave the forum to questions you can raise your hands you can ask the questions and in the chat watch munna bai movie okay i have seen it maybe for others okay, remove the pin first varsha ji to unmute yes i want to listen namaste master namaste master today morning i had a cleansing because of that i can't even move from my bed mm-hmm. and uh, every evening we are taking actually uh, meditation for kids nowadays around 5 o'clock today i thought i cannot uh, do that so i asked jalakshmi master to take over the session but around 4:50 i got some energy oh. and i took uh, that session and after that i was attending another meditation session now i'm being here and i'm back to normal now this so is the power of sacrificial service when you are doing for you you are only relying on your energy when you are doing for others the universal energy will flow that is what you experienced and that test see up to 10 minutes before the session <laughs> just i before. can't even move from my bed master wow very nice experience and oh. thank you master and about a uh, weekly focus goal this week i was fine with that and i noticed one thing i'm not speaking unnecessarily to anyone anything beautiful and i have a question master mm-hmm. so if someone asked me whether you having any challenges i told no i am fine i am happy i am not having any challenges but after seeing this word i am getting some challenges whether my statement is wrong after seeing what you are getting challenges if somebody asked me whether you having any have any challenges i am saying no i am happy i am not having any challenges mm-hmm. after seeing the statement i got immediately challenges ah, so when naturally you don't have challenges that is the state of your consciousness somebody yes. asked hey do you have any challenges it is coming from their mind jai krishna <laughs> so the, the whole starry night yeah. will just deleted me yeah yeah i know the challenge comes from the mind the mind want challenges mind want all challenges so when they ask something from the mind your mind is getting activated you understand naturally you don't have anything you are fine with everything you are learning you are evolving but somebody asked you a question then your mind gets activated am i in challenge that's all so you are allowing your mind to get activated by their questions and jai krishna don't go behind the souls okay kirji okay i saw your questions let them wander okay you don't do that job okay i have done it in the past i have done that mistake i don't want you to lose your energy yeah okay they will evolve they will go okay we we should never use our powers too much use that for creating something for the welfare of others bother only of people who are living <laughs> forget about the dead <laughs> okay you you do that for sadhana use it for some creativity that energy you know the spiritual energy is very valuable valuable than diamond valuable than gold don't waste it it's okay one experience no problem mm-hmm. but if you repeat it then you are not learning got it madam guruji yes madam very long time i have missed a lot of sessions guruji how many complete sessions we have every day i thank you so much yeah. uh, i introduced one person he have uh, no time to me i said to him you can go and search in the ayurveda uh, master sessions the stream video you have to practice and that way he practiced last three days he said wonderful messages master said to us so we are very happy and nowadays we focus on the villages master yes still, still it is a very big uh, task for us to relieve from the vegetable come to the vegetarian so i hand over to the masters master first i spread the meditation here 
let us they they realize and come back to the next day and i believe that i passed to my relieved my heart power there itself my one of my colleague she turned into the last one year uh, eight one non vegetarian she not able to eat now she is came back to the vegetarianism her uh, son also having some mental affectness he came he completed a ba bca now he entered in the mca he practiced for 15 days and uh, he said to his father i don't want any meditation so I medicine medicine i follow the meditation that is enough for me so he said so we are going in the correct way thank you so much to the guruji you are uh, giving a wonderful chance to my our family you are very 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 gratitude it is thank just you. a reminder you are born for it you are doing your work <laughs> and my uncle was like Hi, hey, Master. Wow, super session. I'm going to go on every session. Yeah, wow, he was like that. You did too much. <laughs> yeah, no, no much. He I told know. that only. Hi, hey, Master. Session was so good. No over action. Don't be too much. It's okay. No, he told that. I saw his hands. He was like super. My yeah. husband also started the meditation from January wow. first onwards, Master. So we are very happy. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Master. Love you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Bye, bye. Good to see family. Thank you so much, Master. Thank you, Guruji. Thank you. Bye, bye. Pilaji. Welcome, Master. Welcome, Madam. What's yes. happening? Um, my challenge is being truthful. Hmm. Yes, last last week I told you. So I'm maintaining silence now. So hopefully everything will be okay soon. And another thing is, um, you know, to review your action, feelings, and thoughts. I started doing that. I'm very uh, clear about what I'm doing. Whenever, whenever thought, bad thought comes, or whenever I say something, immediately I will be thinking, "Oh, I shouldn't be saying this," you know. So that clarity has come to me. And uh, season four, we are Tamil. We have started, and on top of that. We are. Uh, we started our twelve to six a.m. meditation. We have Padma Ji and Veni Ji and myself, three of us, uh, doing the meditation. And uh, just want to say thank you. Wonderful session as usual. Love you. Love you. Love you. Very nice, madam. Thank you very much. I saw your message that you have restarted your session. Last day I'll be there. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Okay, Mona Ji, good, good to see you. Day. Yeah, good to see you. Namaste. Namaste. Um, I have a question. Hmm. Um. Okay, when we meditate, okay, and uh, this is about karma. When we meditate, and uh, the cosmic energy flows through Brahma Randra, right, and it goes into the Um, etheric body, and it cleanses, uh, heals, and cleanses the karma, right? Yes. Okay. And in one session, you mentioned that uh, the karma uh, in in the form of bubbles in right. our blood, yeah. and when we meditate, it um, it bursts, right? right? Okay. So, but the blood is in physical body. So, how is the etheric body and how the etheric it gets converted? It goes to the blood. You understand? See, the physical body we leave. Okay. But karma is in a causal body. From the causal body, it comes to your etheric body in the form of patches, so that energy doesn't flow freely, like the blockages in the pipes. And in the physical body, it gets converted as bubbles. All right. What happens? The bubbles will be there in the blood. and when the right time comes for the karma to reap it will suddenly go to any one organ and it will malfunction it but when we meditate we burst it well before such events happen so you are helping yourself so in the physical body it is in the form of bubbles in the blood in the etheric body it is in the form of patches you understand in the mind it is in the form of obstructions and no free flowing thoughts it is not only in one body it is there in everywhere that is the power of karma mm-hmm. okay i got it thanks and and just to reconfirm 
read more books experience do more meditation you will understand yeah just now you mentioned um okay um etheric body is also known as emotional body correct okay and astral body is the mental mm-hmm. body yes your mind is in the astral body thank you <laughs> thank you very much good do your research thanks do your research nice nice okay sukan ji thank you namaste sir namaste ji uh, every session uh, you were uh, expressing one thing i want to know how we can just uh, clarity about our goal yeah see the clarity doesn't come in one day but are you not getting any intuitive messages what you need to do in life yeah that, that's that's what some follow that keep following in that path every day you will get more clear you understand most of the times 99.9% before we start anything we will never have any clarity but once we start take one step two steps three steps slowly your clarity will increase you understand that clarity initially you will not get but on in the path you will get you understand first you don't know whether to meditate or not whether to give sessions or not you will not have clarity but follow your instincts if it says to meditate meditate maybe after few months or years or days or hours you will get little more clarity oh yeah i am in the right path then you take one more step one more step then clarity keeps increasing understand right yeah the day by day in your spiritual journey day by day slight improvement will come in your clarity one book you choose any book of your own take small book don't take big books any small book every 3 months ensure you read that book again that's a quarterly goal every 3 months i'm going to read this book again in the 3 months what happens you will undergo so many experiences you are not the same person moment to moment we change because the cells in the body goes and new cells forms we are always continuously changing so after 3 months when you read the book again what happens your clarity is improved i have seen you many sessions are you the clarity on karma has it not improved or no yes exactly that's all you should give more space and time then the clarity on any subject will grow in my sixth class first time i said this book about physics chemistry nothing everything is bouncer year after year year after year slowly i started understanding okay this is what is physics this is what is chemistry sir prior to meditation i thought hmm. that no i have to come to one platform when i came to psss and then i came to know that no this is the right uh, platform to start then again I, uh, my mind questions me here you are starting your journey mm-hmm. means uh, in every each and every situation i'm finding two way mm-hmm. that's what i'm asking about the clarity sir simple if you are able to see one way walk if you are able to see two ways just wait <laughs> that's what i do okay i am i am doing my journey if i see two ways i will just stand without thinking then my intuition will say take left or right i go and after i take one direction i will not think about other see the mind should be under your control you don't be under it it will take you for toss because mind can only take outer things mind cannot go inside you cannot take decision based only on your mind you should use your mind but mind should not use it understand varsha never got any challenge in life she is happy 
but some stupid asked a question do you have a challenge in life suddenly her mind also started oh why i am not having challenges do i have challenges until unless from another mind came this mind never activated so it is now she is aware okay others mind is triggering my mind now she will be aware she knows how to tackle in another situations understand if there is a confusion in the mind just keep it calm slow down let it settle when the mind is aggravated it is like muddy water give time all the mud will settle then you are crystal clear you can see should i do or no let 1000 people do i don't care do i feel like doing am i born to do that do i fit there in this particular juncture of my life that clarity you will get when you slow down when you switch off your mind so beautifully you get answers i hardly use my mind hardly that is why i am very confident on every guidance i get because it is not coming from my mind you have to train yourself anything in life if you have confusion don't take any decision just move on with what you are doing you will get clarity got it thank you thank you sir thanks sir. great great sukanji and that's a very big chat every morning i meditate i am experiencing serene calmness but i still have to understand much more i'm just in friend thank you yeah it's a journey jay devi ji it's a journey okay first class you are attending sri lakshmi ji you want continuously to attend every week yeah join the group uh i will i will just post the group link at the end of the session I don't want to make the people wait madhavi ji is quiet <laughs> namaste master namaste uh, uh, i just wanted to share my experience on pyramid energies yes. uh, 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 three of uh, my family members okay my my daughter first and uh, she's not a, a regular meditator but uh, we took her to ramnai kampete so i asked her you just go inside the pyramid and study she says like you know when i sit at home i take so much of time studying a single chapter but when i uh, went inside the pyramid and studied you know no confusion no second thoughts i just simply studied and the chapter was so easy i just finished everything uh, in small amount of time this was her experience on pyramids why do you think so? why because the pyramid will not allow her to think yeah yeah exactly it has helped her mind beautiful beautiful experience so everybody should use every child should use pyramid and, they will become excellent graduates wonderful wonderful and then i have a pyramid on top of my uh, work work chair so uh, earlier before using the pyramids you know uh, uh, i have lot of uh, official works and uh, many a times it criss cross and um, my work goes half the way and now i notice that um, it is executed in a perfect manner no disturbances and it is getting complete also thank you one great and this is my experience and my husband whenever he's sick he asks me to get up from that seat and he just go and sits there <laughs> and he says after sitting under the pyramid i feel really uh, rejuvenated he said that yesterday he had he he is undergoing kidney stone problem so he was sick and uh, he was feverish he mm. had to travel today um, he just got up and uh, sat in uh, under the pyramid with his eye cap pyramid eye cap mm. and he said i'm perfect i'm going to travel now and he is in the travel <laughs> the whole family is using the pyramid energy you now <laughs> yeah yeah exactly i am so jealous of your pyramid in the bed <laughs> uh -huh. i have big pyramid no no competition 10 people can <laughs> okay okay so so wonderful uh, uh, wonderful energy pyramid energy sir okay. i have it i have it on the water uh, that we drink i have one on the filter on top of the filter so use it very regularly for drinking 
and and i wanted to also ask you one thing uh, i once kept a status saying uh, uh, you should not have conflict in your words and in your action so i had client and we had some uh, bad faces um, so he didn't agree to my terms i said okay you find a, a auditor who is very good and who is well in your terms and i said okay i'm leaving and he he was uh, just uh, replied me for the status saying uh, you, your words and actions are different ma'am uh, surprising that you have kept the, this as your status i is this this rubbed me actually and then i said what what you see as me is your perception of me and that doesn't have any uh, uh, impact on me on or what i feel as what i am this is just like nityananda i'm i'm speaking swami ji <laughs> but but this this is what i i just gave, gave him the message saying this and he was speechless for a few minutes and then can i reply that can i do that reply okay want to do it okay okay see on this context i'll just share you the one message i got uh, just before the session no i was driving in the road Mm, I have to reach home, take bath for karma session. I parked my vehicle, and then I was walking towards my lift. Suddenly, a message came to me. You know what it said? If somebody asks you, give your opinion. Okay. When you are asking someone, clearly tell them, please give your opinion, not decision. Okay. i'm like wow we should when we say something no but i have seen certain people no when they tell something they expect us to follow that and sometimes when we tell something to someone we expect them to follow no give your opinion that's all i love you and absolutely leave them their life their decision support them so you just gave your opinion that's all and how they take their problem wonderful wonderful and and after a long time i'm attending the session and uh, so thankful that it was like just just for me it is <laughs> ah. <laughs> we uh, i'll actually follow um, following all your uh, goals uh, regularly by seeing the status itself we i follow but uh, this class you know was specifically meant for me i will definitely do it thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much Thank you very much. Meeta ji, Meeta, Meeta, wait. Namaste. Namaste, madam. Namaste, master. I am enjoying your day, uh, weekly lessons. Really, I am feeling so good. Mm. I am so happy to uh, uh, be a mindful and practice. While whenever I do something, I am just seeing that what I am doing. Mm. So I like that. And for this procrastination. that is my favorite <laughs> <laughs> early in the morning you know i tell myself i have to do this 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 then mm. i see to it that i have finish i should finish that work on that day Perfect. so that uh, very nice i am happy that i will be able to do whatever i have decided thank you so much i feel like you so i wasn't trying <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you So I just remembered one point when Meeta ji was telling. So what you can do, all of you, is plan your next day in the night. Because sometimes we think morning we will wake up and plan. So morning you will not even wake up. So that itself get postponed, and a whole day planning gets postponed. So just before, don't need to write in the paper. At least be clear. Two three tasks I am going to do. So once you are clear, that's enough. the morning you like the moment you wake up you know what you have to do just a small tip rachna ji final hand rachna yeah good evening sir hi dubai <laughs> yes i remember you i just wanted to say that last week was a very smooth week smooth. And all, yeah because i'm being myself truthful so it was good and uh i've also been following one more thing you had told in one of your instagram videos 
and that was be spiritual in every detail and every movement and it was very nice following it for a week obviously i'm going to take it to the next week and so on i'm looking forward for next week's uh, goal no procrastination it was my last year's uh, main a uh, goal and i brought it to this year as well because it's something i had to work on so i'm looking forward for it thank you sir see nice lesson yes we'll all look for it thank you for connecting okay so that's all my dear friends no more hand raises i hope i answered everybody it is nothing is tough see when people say it is going to be very easy or when people say it is going to be very tough it's all the mind it's all here it's in the mind so next one week no procrastination no postponement every day after this every week no after this karma session i sit in the same chair you know wait for the video to render i upload in youtube post the message only then i go out because there may be certain people who miss the session they always message me i'm traveling i missed the session i don't want their mind to feel bad no i missed missed the moment i post the link no i i get some sense of happiness because they will all be okay now i can watch at any time if i miss now no if i go back to any other sessions gone then i may forget so procrastination will kill you it will kill your mind it will not allow you to be peaceful so don't do over planning i am telling you experiment it plan two three things finish it if you have time plan one more thing and finish it it is like plan to execution plan to execution not don't directly get into execution and something you think impossible don't even write because you write it and then you, you will feel bad i didn't do it you will go into that guilty mode thank you very much and uh, i hope must class always very useful thank you vijay ji yes sir waiting for the video link because i i to join late maybe it is for you i am telling you thank you very much today session got over thank you very much 41 sessions beautiful i was just thinking if i complete 52 sessions if somebody wants to watch at least one video in one week it will take one year so much of content we are generating in the name of karma so much clarity and i have heard from certain people they sat and continuously saw 40 sessions hey are is it really possible i i don't know how they really do that there are at least two three people have told me they watched all the sessions and then they come back to me asking more questions i am always available in whatsapp you guys know message me i will reply thank you very much we'll all help each other remember for fifth week or fourth week which week are we in fourth fourth week week four our goal is no postponement no procrastination no don't find reasons to run away find reasons to do it thank you very much we'll again connect next week until then signing off your meditation goes i pop in thank you thank you thank you have a great day